Hey guys, welcome back to more Telltale The Walking Dead. We have episode four, Around Every Corner. Last episode was rough. It was very tiring. Like it wasn't boring, it was just tiring. We are not even a full group anymore. Out of all the people that we started with, we have Lee, Kenny, Clem, and Ben. Duck is dead, his mom is dead. Um, what's her face ran off with the vehicle. We have Chuck now. Chuck seems okay. He's got a guitar and he's an alcoholic, but he seems like a good person. So yeah, um, oh, and we met two new people who one of them is on the screen with us, Omid and I'm forgetting her name. Don't like her too much, okay? She's questioning my parenting style, and I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. But yeah, we're not even a full group anymore. We've Previously, met new people. The walking dead. Shut but up, it's just Harley. so weird. Oh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah, and that happened. Yep, Carly's dead. Figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. Yeah, I, I, you, I assume I we're gonna see her again sometime. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't going Which I don't mind. Carly just really was under a lot of pressure and snapped. I'll do it. Wait, was that Carly, or was Carly the one that died? I'm already forgetting Ooh. names. Yeah. Okay. You need to know if they're okay, and well, if they're not, what happened? I got two people I need to know: Lee and Clem. Supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! And see, this was his fault. He hesitated. How did you even land like that? Did you not bend your knees? I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. That is so creepy. Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. That was so creepy to find out she's been talking to someone on the walkie-talkie the whole time. Uh-uh, that's creepy. That made me genuinely uncomfortable. This game is always a lot louder than what I remember it being, so I constantly have to adjust the sound when we get back in. We made it to Savannah. I personally love Savannah. I think it's a beautiful city. Around every corner. Oh, that's Omid. I was like, mm, is that Lee? Why are you hobbling? Yeah, kid, you don't get to hold this right Can't now. Just hold it? No, 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 no. There's a strange man on the other line. I don't think so. I need you to focus. Not now. Just maybe for later. A while. We're um, getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe, maybe later. Can... Not I'm now, totally anytime. lying. Maybe later, okay? Okay. You How's can have it back when I say His so. His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. D don't be mad at me. Kenny. How much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll mm. be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? I don't like that. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Mm, can we leave now? Someone's oh. up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Uh, I know, I know what, what I, saw. I saw. I'm not calling I'm up you, to there's them. There's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I 
thought you said that thing Ooh. didn't work. Uh, you in the tower? Who the hell is this? Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Oh, come on. Give me something. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Walkers. It tolls for thee. Yeah. There's a lot of zombies wearing Leatherman jackets. Why do y'all always pause at the worst Everybody, time? Y'all pause at the worst times. Oh, go Chuck! Oh, wait, that's Kenny. Little too close, don't you think? Yep, can we go? No! Ben, why are you all paws like this? You little punk! I was willing to forgive you for the bullshit that you- Oh god, oh god, oh god, sir. Oh, come on. No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, Chuck. I, thank you. Chuck can stay. Ben has to go. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell is Chuck? I don't want to leave Chuck! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now! I'll be fine! Just no! Go. Not Chuck! He's my new drinking buddy! I sh no, he's he's recovering alcoholic. No, he's not. He, he's my new I'll friend. Now you choose to trip. At least you chose to trip on the other side of a gate. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. I you know they can smell blood. I'll figure it, can they? Away. I'll figure it out. You're you're constantly on my nerves, woman. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Uh, try not to worry. I think they did. Try not to worry. Not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I okay, don't well... think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. <laughs> stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. Don't look at my kid. I don't like you. Your name, Krista. Was that was your name. I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood. And God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Ah, uh, we'll take care of it. She's right. It looks bad. It probably looks worse than it is. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on. Okay, I'm tight. getting there. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I believe you. You fell off a train. I mean, you're sturdy. What's this? Looks like something was buried here. 
Please tell me it was a person and not a dog. Is there anything oop, around here? Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Yeah, we're good. So many diseases. Ooh, I got a shovel. A shovel is never not useful. Yeah, that's true. All right, how's things going? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. <laughs> You're not wrong. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just mm. figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. Okay. See what you can find. Is that a doggy door? No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. It's a doggy it's door, things. isn't it? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just mm. like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Ooh. Bullshit. Like Every an over the hedge. A day. I love right, that movie. So, where's the dog? Don't make me go dig a dog up. Yeah. Hit him in the face. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up hasn't that ever happened to you just hear mm. what i'm saying to you you put that girl in danger again it won't be walkers you have to worry about kid i will kill you with a shovel how do you think kenny's holding up i don't know it's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat he definitely doesn't want to talk about katja and duck at least would you want to talk way. about them Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way think we can get in through one of these windows man i don't think so Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. All right, I, I guess I know what I need to do, but I don't want to do it. Up, uh, yep. Hey, be careful. <sighs> Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. At least it isn't like in Resident Evil where animals get infected. What's buried down there? There it is. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Mm. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Go ahead. Oh God, the smell. Hmm. There's the collar. No. I'm sorry, cupcake. I can't get it off. Well, why don't you try unfastening oh, okay. it? That is not oh. cool. Are you okay? Okay. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure mm. you? I said I'm fine, okay? They tell me you're just sick and not pregnant because that's a liability. Just be ill. Well, I guess pregnancy is an illness, but just be like sickly ill. We'll get you some medicine. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn hey. it! Oh, we're gonna have to. Oh, Clem, you're the only one who's the right size. See in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Uh oh. Okay. D didn't even wait for it. Clem, are you okay? Say something. 
Not even waiting for instructions. Ta -da! <sighs> good job. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we I should have scolded have her a little bit. Inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Uh, I should have scolded her just a little bit. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. All right, lock the door back. Ooh, nice house. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel <laughs> better already just being off my feet. The way his face Thanks, glitches babe. into a smile. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. It's none of your business. Of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Oh my god, Wait. Krista. Can we leave Who her gives outside? Shit about the damn radio. I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Yeah, like me they too. Didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? They're stalking us. They weren't noticed, friendly. There's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't Dang. play games with them. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going except by another boat. Soon. Omid needs to rest. Okay, can we leave her? Oh, I want to go find Chuck. Make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. Where's That's Chuck? That's our ticket out of here. place seems secure at least i'll feel better when we know that for sure we need to check the whole house <sighs> all right fine you and me will take the upstairs lee you've got down here make sure you check every door understand okay can do every door can i help what if there's another locked door i um, think you've been helpful enough for one day kiddo why don't you just see if kristen omid need anything okay okay I appreciate it though. I like the thought, but no. Just in case. I'm gonna check the cabinets. It's technically a door. Oh, the door indeed. to the cabinet. Nothing. Water's off. Ooh. His name was Walter. I'm sorry, Walter. I'm sure you were the best of boys. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish <laughs> checking the downstairs. Not the dog food. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. You know, maybe it's a good thing Chuck's not home yet. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Might as well take a look at the grandfather clock. I hate grandfather clocks. Working a while ago. I hate bells. I hate wind chimes. I hate clocks that chime. Nice art. Not exactly my style. It's my style.
Hmm. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's your leg feeling? How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finding this house was a hell of a stroke. His of luck. facial expressions like are so stiff. We know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the brick we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, mm. I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's son. Mm. He's just been through a lot, that's all. Yeah. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. I mean, you don't so have to I'll stay. Keep the first floor to make sure it's safe. I don't even like Thanks you that so. much. What's up, Clem? Up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? Almost. No, but I'll take care of it. All right. What is behind door number one? Nothing the bathroom. What is behind door number two? A closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Okay. Any other belongings to look at other than what I've already seen? <laughs> oh, what, it's a mop. What happened? I got scared by a mop. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Mm. Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. Could be used to clean the wound. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What who he is mean? it? Back off, Krista. We want answers, Clem. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What's his friend's what have you name? Been saying to him. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, mm. honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He Lee. Oh, Ben. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh. He went up to the attic, okay. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Oh. Stay here. Kenny? What'd you find up there, bestie? I'm trying really hard to convince Krista that you're not going to snap, so please don't be doing something weird. Kenny? Oh, is it a walker? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that... Well, I want to see. Oh. He starved. Oh. Now, 
looks like duck, don't he? Oh, honey, no. He's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? He starved. I guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Uh, can't do it now. You don't have to do it. I'll do it. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll find out. Oh no, I'm not gonna give him the gun. Why don't you why don't you go downstairs? Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Is there anything else around here? I can use my foot? Well, the gunshot. Ooh, I don't want to make too much noise. What's this other thing I'm holding? Oh, it's the wrench from the train. Okay. I was wondering if it was that or a flashlight. But then I thought I didn't have a flashlight. I'm sorry. Hmm. That's sad. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Hmm. I'm trying really hard to convince myself that Kenny's gonna be okay, but I'm not sure. Because Kenny and I, we've had our back and forth, especially where Lily was involved, but he's still my buddy. No, I think a little kid gets to be with Walter. That's something. I'm sure you loved your dog. Oh, I have to physically dig this? Okay. Oh, I, I was expecting commentary, but okay. I guess I'm just shoveling dirt. Clem, go inside. Please. Krista, please take her. Okay, game, I, I'm gonna keep going with the- Oh, shit! <laughs> that was like a genuine hey. heart-stopping hey. moment. I'm not okay with that. Don't yell! We're trying to not attract anyone. Lee, what's going on? Oh, man, the drop of the sound got me. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. 
Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? It was a man. It's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Mm -hmm. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Really right, uncomfortable. That's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get mm -hmm. down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as okay, soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. It's not even I don't safe know if yet. It's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Oh, okay. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. <laughs> oh, that's Wait, mean. Can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Mm mm. Uh, stay here and help. No, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. Mm -hmm. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, okay. Kenny. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? You freeze up a lot. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. You're kind of useless. That. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, mm -hmm. you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? What about people? Anything or anyone. Because if Good. you fail this simple task, I'm going to put you in the hole. You trusted Ben. I don't like how that's worded. I really don't trust Ben. I just want him to stay in the house. Kid freezes a lot. He's got a lot of anxiety issues, which so do I, but his anxiety makes him kind of useless. He got the freeze out of fight, flight, and freeze. That's like the third one that people don't really talk about, isn't it? That like rarely gets brought up, I think. Kenny's looking worse and worse. Keep an eye out for Chuck. I think it's safe in the house. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Hmm? Oh, well that sucks. What in the hell is going on? So is it one group that just really likes bells and they're drawing them back and forth like a game? Uh, maybe they're trying to distract us. Maybe they're doing us a favor. I have no idea. Someone must be. I really don't know. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that. I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was that was a decent one. Yep. Just crawl your yeah. way around the moving. corner. Just crawl your way away. Stay 
still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, my God. Ooh. There's got to be a boat. There's got to be. Uh... Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan. It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly oh helping. God. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. I mean, you got the one that's attached to the trailer hitch, but I don't know if it's damage. Is it? Well, it's taking all water. Might still be salvageable. Ah, uh, this boat's fucked. You better be right about this. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you okay. can find. Okay. Have fun with your broken boat. All right, what else is around here? I don't want to talk to Kenny. Kenny's on my nerves. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Well, yeah, they didn't use a ramp. They just went for it. Locked. Oh. No newspaper for me, then, I guess. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been a hell of a wreck. Mm. Okay, I can't go further that way. I love the power walk. Ooh. What is here? It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Ooh. What if I wanted a newspaper, though? Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Is there something besides a newspaper that I want? Looks like it's still intact. It's such a Still weird thing to be able to mess with. Maybe I do want a newspaper. Maybe someone hid something in the newspaper stand. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Um, not quite sure. They definitely probably mean something. Two people in, one maybe. Okay, there's something back here. There's something to my right, at least. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, that's... Fuck. Is this meant to be some kind of warning? Do something like this. That is terrifying. Oh, that's that's so gross. Oh my god. Why would you shoot this one? What? Why is that even an option? Oh man, to think these were all resident. These are people. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. That is terrifying. I mean, it's an effective way to keep people out of your home or whatever's back. Oh my god, it just keeps going. That's terrifying. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. 
Can I hit it with my wrench? Damn. Built solid. It was worth a try. I don't even know what I could have gotten out of that. Not exactly a welcome banner. So that's a sign for people who might have been coming in by boat though, right? Hey Kenny, do you have a quarter? You got a quarter on you? <laughs> Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe uh -huh. you can find one on the street somewhere. Larry kept quarters. Larry was helpful in his final moments. Okay. Maybe there's something back here. How far back can I go? Don't want to go too... Yeah, I don't want to go too far. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. All right. Um, try the cash register again, maybe? Since we now have a use, yeah, for the change. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Please be a quarter. Yeah. It's not a quarter. Been too easy. Yeah. <gasps> maybe there's a... Oh, maybe there are quarters in the newspaper stand. Hit it. Yeah, quarters. Okay, I did not want a newspaper. I wanted a quarter out of the stand. That makes sense. <laughs> the power walk makes me giggle. Fuck! D what? What's up with the boat? You scare me. It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. Mm. You can't fix it? Batteries... No, he can't. What the... What the hell is that? Art. Fate worse than death. An art installation. Ooh. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Isn't that a hotel? I'm fairly sure I've seen that many times. Um. Oop. There's a no, boat, but it's capsized. Salvageable. Well, not capsized, but it's not helping. Nothing but water. Okay, that's our boat. Oh! What the hell? Okay, Ninja Warrior, what the hell? Get down! Get down. This man came out of dying light. He's not playing The Walking Dead. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Um, maybe it's just a scavenger. Sounds like a plan. We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. This guy scaled down a building. He kind of frightens Just me. Wanna talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Okay, Kenny. Ooh. I don't want to hit that person. I what the frick? Ah, ninja, ninja! Yeah, stop it! I don't want to fight. Lee, what the fuck are you doing here? Beat the crap out of no, Ben. Not from Crawford. Um, no. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Mind Where's if I Crawford? Get up? Slowly. Okay.
Kenny, Kenny don't. don't. Kenny! I wanna hit you. No, he's with us! Everyone is so problematic. Including you. Who the hell are you people? Uh... Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. Yeah, Her name's Kenny. Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> How did you get out you of the house? You aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the that sounds hell scary. You sure you want to know? Kinda. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know mm. we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Mm. Why no children who's been ringing the bells? Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! There's probably Fucking a reason! Witch. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? <laughs> yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Was what? Smart the bells. I've never heard that. Smart outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Uh, Clem, what what are you doing here? Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Mead started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. You're telling me neither of them decided to watch my kid? What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Mm. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Uh, that's not how we do things, but still children. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Are we looking at them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, Anyone too old? Anyone mm. they figured wasn't strong enough to survive? To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Mm. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Hmm... Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I need to get her back to the house, just trying to survive. We're looking for a boat. We came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here, find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got mm. left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. Does Crawford have a boat? If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Oh, 
Oh, and of course they came back. Okay. Okay. Isn't that the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Good job, Kenny. Is there a Oh, follow her. Follow her. Can't follow her. Never mind. Uh, just gonna let her go? Oh, hey, dang it. I wasn't quick enough to press here. that. I was gonna ask really? her, is there another Watch. way out? No, please. Please don't leave us. Come on, make it fast. That one was quicker than I expected. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. <laughs> what was that lift? Hey! Kenny! No! Kenny, you loser! Kenny, you absolute loser. Oh god, oh god, um... Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! I, I guess. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Thank you, Lara Croft. Come on, Lee. Ah, get away from me. Don't you fall in here. Okay, um... Yeah, can we go? Oh, I mean, at least they hit their heads. Hopefully. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Okay, navigating a sewer. This is fun. Shit. Just what I wanted to be doing. Honestly, the sewer might smell better than where we just were. Too many rotting corpses. Oh, that's a... Are sewers this big? Do I just not understand how large sewers can be? Okay. Oh, what's this? Half eaten sewer rats. Walkers must be down here too. Can I throw one? Man. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Oh, that's true. Never mind. I was gonna say, can I like throw it at a walker? Maybe. What's this? Careful how much sound you make, Lee. Things echo in here. It's a drainage pipe. All right, I'm definitely. Okay, we got this. things by myself. Oh god, oh god, you got it, Lee. Just crawl, buddy, crawl. Okay, we got this. What does it do? Don't turn anymore in that direction. Okay, so turn to the right. Thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. 
shit. Shush. Uh, I can take the wheel. Hmm, okay. Too much work. Okay. Okay. Oh, but they're gonna... Mm, definitely gonna see me if I do this. Let's try it. Try it, let's try it. Okay, which way does this turn? Why is it never to the left? Why is it always to the right? Okay, okay. <gasps> no! I can't believe that was Chuck. Uh, how did he even get down here? Oh my god. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. That's okay, Chuck. You deserve better, old man. I liked Chuck. He was becoming my favorite of the people that we had left. Get your crusty hand off of me. <gasps> Damn it. I thought that was going to be the... Mm, I should have looked at the stupid little things. Should have looked at the stupid little things. The stupid little icons. Come on. Lee! Lee? Lee, if you do not... I was about to say, we were about to fight you and I. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Lee, stop being dumb. Stop being dumb. Stop being dumb. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. Crawly. I have no idea why he went down the stairs when he did. I did not mean to shoot. Fallout shelter. Is it vault tech? Because if it is, I don't want to go. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. Oh. To keep people alive for months. I say we confiscate. Okay, they're over there. So let's go ahead and. Oh. Apologies. Who are you? Understandable response. Um. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I can't do I'm that. I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't mm. lie to me. 
I know. No. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else not around, from around here, here looking for a boat. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Don't yeah, listen to her, Vernon. Right. I'm sorry, friend. I can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Okay, you seem to be it's a little right. panicky, so let me it's just... Okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? That's Vernon. nice, Vernon. You did good. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really no. not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started, <laughs> they turned the morgue. The they put beds they in the morgue. So the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're mm -hmm. in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. It already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Mm-hmm. Yeah, irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Not important walkers looking for a boat. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Uh, I'm fine on my own. Can you show me the way back? I'll figure Thanks. it out. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just going to let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. I don't want to drag you're this old man be out able there. You're get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? I have to get back to Clementine. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Ah, uh, th let's be honest. No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. I'm not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. I don't want the old man to come with me. No, I said I'd go alone for a reason. I'll figure it out. I already lost one, old man. I don't want a repeat of Chuck. I kind of wanted to go alone. Clementine? <gasps> Clem? Oh, okay. Molly, Molly, where's my kid? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Yeah, and then I fell into the sewer. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh, your little pickaxe thing, climbing pick. I don't know what it is. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. 
Oh, we got a doctor. Who? Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. That's as much as we can ask for. Where's my kid? Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. All right, fingers crossed on that one. Clementine? What is this room? Clementine, you in here? Oh, it's a nice office. Clementine? All right, uh, wait. Ooh, what's that? I've been on the windowsill. Clem, you in here? Aw, it's Clementine's drawing. Clem's drawings? But where why'd is you, she? Why'd you have to draw me over the dog grave? Looking like I'm giving a thumbs up. Did she go outside? Don't see her anywhere out there. No walkers either, though. Okay, is that Clementine, where you here? they are? Or are they in here? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Molly, oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find That's anything. That's fine. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Yeah, we haven't seen Kenny and Ben. Clementine? She probably is downstairs, but I could just kind of want to look around. Why has the music gotten more intense? Should I be rushing downstairs? Clementine? You up there? Okay. Shit. Let's go downstairs. Clem? Clementine? Let's power walk downstairs. As quickly as Clementine. our feet will take us. Come out, please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Oh, God, Good he's job. drunk. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the oh, train? No. Cause I fight better when I'm shit faced. Hey, take it easy. <sighs> Should I have like, You've could I enough. have poured those out? The hell with you. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? I probably well, should have. Is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? <laughs> the way his head snapped in my direction. G good on you, Ben. Okay, why am I still power walking? Oh, okay. <laughs> Have either of you seen Clementine? Damn if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. 
Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. How long did you take your eyes off she the was kid, frantic, though? And things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. <sighs> whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her okay, own. Okay, finally with an no one answer. Her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She there was a strange man. I would trade all of you for Chuck right now. Clementine? Clementine! She in the shed thing? Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. That's not helpful. Well, there is. <gasps> There was this great thing. What the hell happened back here? Can I not ask if she's in there? Really? Lee, really? Oh, now, now it seems like something's in there. What'd you find? Can't stay mad at this kid. I'll stay mad at Ben, though. He's gotten on my nerves too many times. <gasps> well, isn't that convenient? Whoa. I know, right? We went all the way out to River Street. I guess that's just how the turns table table turns I like turns table better because of course it's table turns but how's Omid What's taking Kenny so long, Krista? How you holding up? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running mm. a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? I don't know. Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Those are fixable. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. That's fixable. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Let's share streets. We should stay put. Crawford? We should go back out on the street, see what we could find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. Dang they it. siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. <sighs> Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Krista? Trust, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? 
the worst kind, but I don't see what other choice we have. Just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly. We sneak friendly in, we negotiate. Outside. That's putting it mildly. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. This might be a bad idea. There might actually be a way. I know oh. the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah. Actually, actually we do. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Mm. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? <sighs> we can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? Yeah. I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Alright. That's how I'm still alive. I like Vernon. Don't kill another old person this episode. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I've been honest up until this point. I to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. A couple of omissions. The only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. Get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Mm. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, say uh. what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? No. Too dangerous for children, might be safer with Omid. Clementine, I, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omid. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Just stay, keep him in one room, and you stay on the other side. Can't I come with you? No. Lee. No. No. I'm sorry. Why do I feel like every choice is the wrong choice? I hate those stupid little pop-ups in the corner. Don't be sad, okay? More than likely, at least two people are gonna die, so I'd prefer if it wasn't you. My bet's kinda on Krista and Ben. Maybe Molly, we don't know her that well, she can die. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Thanks. Can I talk to you a minute? Mm-hmm. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna How have many a capacity people? problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. How many people are we talking about? Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. 
Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Okay. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? No. Nope. Guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I don't like the idea of leaving her. Watch over the house. Watch over Omid. Now that I remember what there's some random man. Happens while you're gone. Here. I what taught her how to shoot for a reason. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid. I know what to do. Let's get you inside. I trust her with the gun, but I kind of forgot there was some guy stalking the house. Okay, let's make this quick. Okay, because... Oh, let's thank get you. This over with. We should also shut the barn door, but okay. The shelter door? We should shut the door. Okay, there's a light in there and there's a boat. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Let's go. Oh, this idea is terrifying. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there. By the I hate door. this idea. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right Why don't behind. we just sneak around him? It's one guy. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, did Holla Crawford die? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Or is this another trap? Okay, well, I mean, I'd rather deal with walkers than people personally. Probably. Definitely. Yeah. Not sugarcoat Shit. that. What Bin. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Uh, we should leave now. He's he's right. He's right. We can deal with walkers easier mm -hmm. than armed guards. Mm -hmm. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? You tell him, Krista. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. We'll have a bad feeling walking forward. Mm. 
Just don't make too much noise. Just keep moving. Mm hmm. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Okay. <laughs> nice sign. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? So is everyone actually dead, or are they just somewhere else? Here. Just give me a sec. Uh, battery medicine? Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Makes sense. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, if she was from here, I don't care. It's fine. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come okay. too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what mm. to take. Okay. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. I'll accept the help. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. All right. Guess we can talk to Ben really quick. Ooh, what's the pamphlet for? Looks like we have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of walkers found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Uh, person conducting search. Uh, they had a system. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? I would love if you would too. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Yep. Have fun. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Man, come on. Uh-uh. This again? Uh -uh. It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. Mm -mm. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Mm -mm. Um, where's the disagree button? Don't have time for this, you should tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Yep. Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know, I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. Telling Just you, keep man, lying. Bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Your blood's about to be on Kenny's hands. Look, we need Kenny. 
We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself. For Please. the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. You say you want to be useful, and then you want to go and do something that's going to sabotage the group. I know he feels guilty. You know, he should feel guilty. Creepy. But also, please don't screw this up for the rest of us. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. He consistently out in here making dumb decisions. Oh, where did Molly go? Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. What if were the rules? Children under 14 not permitted without authorization. Under any circumstances. Not be tolerated, waste not. Make most of your rations. Make the most of your rations. Molly, did you leave me? Oh, she's at the end of the hall. Nothing in here, I guess. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Why is your voice so loud? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. A little bit of a coup, maybe? I've already been fired. They're worthless. Open it without the combination. But I like the combination. I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Is the combination important? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. All right, I trust you. I was going to say, why are we singling that one out other than the bloody handprint? Is there anything? Okay, no, this way. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Well, it says exit. Where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? So I'm not going that way. All right, deliveries made that way. Over here, a fence. <gasps> Molly, the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not. I probably. I don't know if I should be frightened or Molly or not. But yes, yeah, she's sneaking around and freaking me out. I'm just going to assume she knows what she's doing. Damn. Oh. Oh, this seems like a really bad idea. It didn't snap. Okie dokie. I don't know if that was the easiest way to do that, but... Heavy? Damn. It's jammed tight. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Better not get too close. All right, that's not helpful. Um. Oh, Molly, was that you? Leave him. He's mine. Okay, it's nice, nice to, to see, see you too. Molly. 
Okay. Molly! What? You're, you're making a lot of noise. I think you got it. One more. Okay. For luck. Makes you happy. I was wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, it's a jack. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Work. Where'd you pull that out of? Would y'all move quicker? The way these characters freeze up makes me so angry. I don't think you got him. Terrible job. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. All right. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. How do we lower these things? locked no way in oh buttons the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there all right no power uh looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics can i get past this please Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. All right. Do I have to go around the truck? No. Can I not just go under here? No. Is there anything over here? Okay. Um, going around the vehicles is not an option. Something you need? Um... What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Okay, not fair enough. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah. Fuck him. I'm not judging. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. <laughs> Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please no, I'm not. That's Hilda? cute. I'll take good care of her. She take her out for dinner. Fire and a groany. Okay. That's your promise now. Thank not you. A scratch. I will do my best. Um. I don't really know why I wanted this. Oh. I did it. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. <laughs> That's terrible. I'll um try to hold them off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Okay, just could you please Still grab it? Oh, come on. The negative terminal still screwed on. Come Got on. that one off. Give me the box. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in Break here, the I'll glass carry. behind us and let's go. Break the glass okay, door. Uh, or, or we can follow her. That's fine too. Move your ass. 
Ass is moving. Great, now what? Skyline. All right. That works. Please don't drop me. Thank you. You're more help than Kenny. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. I mean, we are alive. We should stop complaining. I don't think I can follow you. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, okay. Please, 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 please. Thank you. You know what? I was on the fence about bringing Molly with us, but I'm kind of team Molly right now. We'll figure out who to throw out of the boat. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Okay. Catch you later. Can Wait, I have my battery? You still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Uh, probably something personal. What's that walker sound? Oh, let me go check on Vernon. Do I still haven't gotten in here you yet? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. I have just... I went through parkour. I nearly died. And you guys still aren't in there yet? Little help here! What am I... Oh! You couldn't have been a little bit more quiet? Pop his head off. Lee, do something! We got it! Break the door with something! Man. Is that a hold? No. Damn well Glass better. door. There's so many of them. We got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Can we go get Vernon? Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. I uh, better be going about Crawford. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even Understandable. Now, everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Mm. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? 
I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. All right, let's check on the boys. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She yeah, saved she's your fine. life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Oh, Kenny. Ben, do not use this time alone to d spill your guts to make yourself feel better, okay? I would like to get out of here in one piece. Now is not the time to feel sorry for yourself. Okay, let's power walk our way to Vernon. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Am I supposed to just start shooting? All right. Okie dokie, Archie. All right, it worked. What the hell happened? He wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Locked. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Hmm. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. Where would they have kept the combination? Later, I think. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Hmm, what about okay, that would just be Holmes leaving. Probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Oh. Let's see. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Got a little Oh, do we have a little video player? What was it that we know we got a camera from uh Carly? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Okay. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Yeah. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I like Vernon. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With mm -hmm. the battery? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll yeah. see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Pretty good at taking care of herself, though. Ooh. Well, this is convenient. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? 
Regulations. Oberson has ordered mm. me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Is that the one Molly killed? I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. We can see him type I it in. I want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Type in Anna, the code. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Well, he's not typing in the code now. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. I had a feeling this is where that was going, but uh, now I have to go back outside. Okay. Uh, already cleaned out. There's no point in shooting that, I don't think. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. All right. What's this? What's this on the floor? Sonogram? It's a sonogram. All right. I have to make my way all the way back outside. It would be great if we could find the, he's probably dead, the Oberyn guy, whoever was in charge. It'd be great if we could find a walker. Well, that's a lot less bodies than I thought there were. Oh. Can I crawl up? Can't reach it. It's too high up. Okay, we gotta go back the way we originally went. Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit concerned about using the shelf again. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of cheap. Please don't break, please don't break. Okay. She didn't get him. All right. Stomp. All right, what you got in your pockets? This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. Ooh. Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just let them waltz on by. All right. Let's get into that locker. Logan. This must have been his locker. Safe huh? combination has got to be on one of these. Okay, we got options. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. 
That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, come on, safe code. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, okay. No. Well, we know how he died. No. So what's the other tape then? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Oh, she went and killed a bunch of people. Uh, Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. I think it's obvious Let's what's wrong with her, but it's not in my business. We have another tape, though. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else mm -hmm. on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. All right. Let's see. What's this last one? Ah. Uh... Uh... I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Okay, we understand Molly's point of view now. Well, shit. Yeah, at least we got a full understanding of the situation. Alright, let's try to get back and hope more haven't broken in. Oh, you okay, Lee? Could you turn for me? Jesus oh, hey! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Please tell me you didn't lose the battery. I'm just kidding. Oh, God, Molly. Here you go. First, she scared the hell out of me, and then... You do that. Wait, was she the one outside the gate? What's that? No, Nothing. she wasn't. Who was outside the gate? Forget it. We got what we came here for. Let's yeah, just go. It's not my business. We have an idea of what's going it's on. It's probably a photo of her sister or something. Okay, some people definitely got out of Crawford. Oh, Jesus! Oh. Ben. Ben! Sorry, sorry. The hell? I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Just stare. Benny stare menacingly. The door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. 
I found this. Uh, Ben? <gasps> Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Oh, shit! I want to leave you here so bad, Ben. We're taking Molly. We're taking Molly. Please shoot this fucker! Oh, oh. Oh, I was about to say. I totally nice had that. Shot. Thank me later. Come on! I was trying not to shoot her. Ben, we gotta go. Ben! Move your ass! Ben, I'm so tired of you. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? The window. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Don't tell me he's gonna feel bad about himself and sacrifice himself later. This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. I'm not Where's saving you. Saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kenny man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We're doing it later. Focus We're doing it later. You do little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now we gotta go! We'll beat the crap out of him later, nice okay? Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind. We will you sort me, this Sitford? out later. You can stay behind and fucking rot. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. He's kind of well, useless. I we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I abstain, we cut him loose. D -d just come back. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What just about the get him to the house. Us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> well, time to go. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Vernon, I am so sorry. My group spends a lot of time yelling at each other. They don't know any better. What are you trying to so do, much Lee? For the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. All right, get moving. Shut it back. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Okay, shotgun. Hey, look. Okay, use left stick to get away. Can do. Come on, keep, keep moving. <gasps> really? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Thank you, Krista. Ah! 
Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on, come on. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You got it, Lee. Oh, okay. Oh, there goes the hatchet. Kept the gun, though. Should have had to come reload on. a couple of times, but that's okay. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. What's wrong with the railroad? Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Everybody get moving. Yeah, come on, let's go! Oh my god, you were a headache and a half. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Hold on, Ben. I've got you. Lift him. Come on, come on. We get to pulling. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Quit fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get the others out of here. Lee. Don't raise an eyebrow at me. We, we both know. Let me go. Get up. Because you're a wimp. You're a wimp and you need to learn how to survive, okay? I'm not giving you the easy way out. Where's my kid? She's still here. Oh, Mead? Clementine. Oh, Clementine. Walker's got in. You did good. You made it back. Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? Uh, no, he didn't. No, didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? I'm oh, proud me. of you. You did good. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omid? Little kid's a good shot. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, Omid. don't tell me. Did he die? Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Krista? Uh, oh. Hey. Were you napping? Back already? We got you medicine. You have someone a heart attack, why don't you? Feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Okay. So you'll be going. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry about Bree. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, mm. I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks, but now 
It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Not really. Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. Oh, hell well no! Supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Nope. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I Walk away. You. That's what you want for her. Go isn't home. It? Be safe. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. What you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. Old oh, man, your use has run out. Girls I will kill you. Here. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Go on home, Vernon. I appreciate your help. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. Wait. Fun. Thought you wanted to come with. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I you can have been spot been better on my own anyhow. No, Listen, I like Molly. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. No, I like Molly. <sighs> and you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Yeah. I mean, I guess that made the decision easier. Ben ain't getting on the boat, though. I don't even think I get a say in that one anymore. I tried to tell him to shut up. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? <sighs> Where will we go? I have no idea. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. That's a loaded question. It really depends on if Kenny gets to him first. That's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. Mm -hmm. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> I don't like lying to the kids, so I just don't do it. there okay we're sitting in the room with her 
I was afraid that the person... We never found out who was on the other end. And also, I don't think we ever found out who was standing outside the gate because I don't think it was Molly. Did she take the walkie-talkie and leave? Clementine? Oh no, we have the walkie-talkie. When did we get the walkie-talkie? Clementine? When did, okay. Anyone outside? Clementine? Clementine! Oh God. Wait, where did we get left? I'm not even going to ask how, why we have a walkie-talkie on our hip when the walkie-talkie's right here. Dang it, Lee. Why did you leave that with her? Ah! Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Cut it off right now. Fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. We her got we gotta build either. a sense of urgency. What the hell because... is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Just help? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell Damn yeah. It. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Come on, not Lee. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man. But I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. I just want to shoot him right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Kotch and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right. I'm in. What about you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. I'm Shut not the hell up, Kenny. Shitbird is too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is best. You gotta build some confidence, okay? Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. 
she always had a kind word for you, Ben. And she needs you now. Don't you think you owe it to her to help? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. True. Besides, what choice do we have? Just shut the doors. Dang it. Why did it have to be Lee? <sighs> you had time to cut it off. Oh, they left. Where the hell are they? Looks Imagine like they if Vernon was the one on the walkie-talkie. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Yeah, walkers, but where? Are they coming in here? Or are they being pulled somewhere else? Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Okay. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Some people just left him there. What is that about? Oh, I'm kind of happy that it wasn't Vernon, because you know, old man, he was he was great until he got on my nerves. Oh, uh, but we don't know who this is. I guess we're about to figure it out. Oh man. Well, no one died this episode that we cared about. There was that one girl, Bree. We got the people that we came to Savannah with, except for Clem, who's been kidnapped. And Lee, Lee's been bit. So I assume we're just gonna, we're just gonna die. Oh, I hate this so much. And here's the thing, too. I was thinking about this game, and the only thing that I knew about the Telltale Walking Dead is that everyone loved Clementine. Like, she, over the years, has become just a favorite of, like, the gaming community. And I even saw a while back, like, maybe around the time The Last of Us 2 was released or something, like a general comparison of just a meme comparison of Ellie versus Clem. So I knew in my head that Clem was going to be okay. But then 
not that long ago between this episode and the last i was thinking to myself you know at some point clem's gonna grow up and she's probably gonna become a little bit more of a survivalist and be better at living on her own but in order to do that at some point lee's gonna have to die i just didn't expect to be now or because of a walker bite which sucks Oh man, I just want to jump straight into the next episode because I just, I need to know what happens. I, I need to see who it was that took Clem. I need to see the conclusion. I need to, I don't even know who's going to make it out of this situation. I mean, hopefully someone makes it out alive and they can stay with Clem but there is literally no guarantee of that. Like people have been dropping like flies, which I guess makes sense because it's The Walking Dead, but also I'm just not used to seeing it. So I have no faith in anyone besides Clementine surviving. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. It, it, I don't even know what to say. I hope you'll join me again and I will be seeing you guys very soon for the next episode. See you guys later.